Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday evening, the 21st of December. I'm James Spann. Will it snow next week? That's what everybody wants to know. Christmas night or the following day, uh, eh, let's get in there and talk about it. Uh, you got to watch to find out. Uh, first off, we'll check some of the Skycam shots around the network this afternoon. That is coming from Trussville. What a beautiful day. It's cold and windy, though. Uh, temperature's not even close to 50 today. It's it's pretty brisk. There's the Gadsden Sky Cam. The sky is clear there. And love that shot. This is the day of the lowest sun angle of the year. The winter solstice happened at 512 this morning. After today, the amount of daylight begins to gradually increase each day. Big trough over the east. And that thing is finally going to lift out, but uh, still it's pretty cold and pretty snowy up north. There's a nice visible satellite shot. I love those. That's a snow cover. That's not clouds. That's snow on the ground. Nebraska, Iowa, you can see the uh, warmer rivers showing up nicely there. Snow down into about the northern half of Missouri and Kansas and up into Minnesota. Temperatures this afternoon. Look at that. Only 41 for Fort Payne and Haleyville at mid-afternoon. Uh, despite a bright sunny sky and you factor in the wind it feels colder and around the nation just hard to get out of that cold air on the watch warning map the counties in alabama highlighted there those are counties under a red flag warning and uh, that is uh, the potential potential for uh, high wildfire danger because of the very low dew points the dry air and the strong winds and up north still some winter weather woes over parts of west virginia western pennsylvania western new york and ohio Rain for the next seven days, valid through Friday evening of next week. This is showing rain amounts of about two in, uh, two inches here, maybe two and a half in spots. And again, that's going to be the focus of this discussion for sure is this storm system that's doing here uh, next week around Christmas and the day after that. All right, let's take a look at the GFS first. This is the uh, 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. Big trough off the east coast down below that. We'll start the day in the middle 20s. The GFS is showing 25, and we'll see a high in the low and mid-50s tomorrow, probably 53, something like that. Not as windy. A nice uh, early winter day. Sunday, uh, we'll start the day in the 30s, but clouds begin to increase. You can see rain breaking out west of here, but I think we'll leave our forecast dry. The high should be in the upper 50s. And then Monday, Christmas Eve, looks like we'll have some rain to deal with at times. Uh, with that lead impulse and uh, warm air coming up from the south. So showers on Monday. Here's Tuesday, Christmas Day, noon. Big trough carving out off to the west, and a surface low begins to spin up. This Again, this is uh, midday, Christmas Day, the surface low near Tyler, Texas. Very good consistency with the run we showed you this morning. Uh, rain uh, breaks out across Alabama ahead of a warm front. Uh, the most widespread rain, if this is right, over the southern half of the state. Tuesday night at midnight, that surface low is moving rapidly northeast. And it is located uh, just northeast of the shoals, under 1,000 millibars. And boy, howdy, that's a good-looking snow look there for northern Arkansas and southeast Missouri. That could be a big snow for those folks up there. And down here, we're in the warm sector. And, and, you know, you have to wonder, hey, could we have uh, maybe some strong storms especially over South Alabama with that thing uh, Tuesday night. And then Wednesday at noon, the day after Christmas, the surface low is near the uh, Kentucky-West <clears throat> Virginia border. It's turning sharply colder. And, yeah, we got the wraparound moisture suggesting maybe a chance of snow flurries, mainly over the Tennessee Valley, which is what we've talked about this morning. So the GFS kind of jives up with our forecast. But let's keep on looking here. This is the European. This is Monday, Christmas Eve. It's got us in a solid mass of rain. Christmas Day, the uh, surface low begins to deepen over Louisiana. Uh, rain could very well be increasing. We'll go to midnight Christmas night. A deep surface low, very similar to the GFS up in the uh, northwestern corner of the state. And that is a very good snow look there for maybe parts of Arkansas. And this is even suggesting that maybe parts of the Mississippi Delta could see some snow 
Christmas night. Down toward Greenville and Greenwood, maybe down to Yazoo City, maybe a snowflake or two at Jackson. And again, south and east of that surface low, we'll have to watch for you know strong storms. In fact, let's just look at the uh, quickly the, the, some of the severe weather parameters. This is uh, at midnight Christmas night, derived on the GFS. Surface low is approaching Nashville. And look at that tongue of instability coming up. And, you know, it's not overwhelming, and you're obviously not going to have that this time of the year. But certainly that is sufficient instability for strong storms ahead of the cold front there. Uh, so we'll have to watch for that. Uh, and this is the low-level shear, the bulk shear between the surface and 925 millibars. And um, those numbers are pretty high over especially southeast Alabama, but really the numbers are high almost up to Anniston. So Christmas night, by golly, we might have to watch for uh, strong to severe storms, especially in areas south and east of Birmingham. All right, and now we go to uh, Wednesday morning back to the European, and ooh, snow lovers will dig that. Uh, the surface low is near Knoxville, Tennessee. The critical thickness line is coming down to about Birmingham with wraparound snow falling over much of western Tennessee, parts of middle Tennessee, northwest Alabama, north Mississippi. That's why you can't ignore the possibility of a few snowflakes in here on uh, uh, Wednesday, and then Thursday the GFS goes dry. Oh, yeah, look at this one now. This is the Canadian valid Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. It is considerably farther south, and it is a clear outlier, okay? And we're not buying into this. I, I think what we've got in the forecast we're going to roll with, but just for the fun of it, uh, that would be a big snow for Muscle Shoals and Athens, and maybe Russellville, and maybe Hamilton, if this is right. The uh, and, and the contours here, th that's the uh, temperature is about 5,000 feet off the ground or at 850 millibars, and you have to look really carefully in there, but there's a blue line around Birmingham, and that could be a rain-snow line. But that's a uh, that would be a big snow for northwest Alabama. But remember, it's an outlier. We're not uh, uh, using that solution. And finally, the Navy no gaps. And again, this is better with tropical stuff, really. It's, it doesn't show much at all uh, Wednesday morning, and we'll throw that one out as well. But the, we'll go with, the, with what we've got in the forecast. Rain ending, uh, you know, maybe some storms Christmas night. Uh, early Wednesday, we turn sharply colder. Maybe a few flurries on the backside of the system with no accumulation here. The better chance probably north of U.S. 278 for snow flurries. But that could change as things unfold. Let's go deeper. How about uh, New Year's Eve? This is Monday, December 31st, that evening, about the time everybody's getting set to ring in the new year. And look at that whopper of a surface low down there near Dothan. Not quite cold enough for snow here, but that could be a big snow maybe for Kentucky if this is right. And then on New Year's Day, that thing lifts out of here and we turn cold and maybe a few flurries on the backside of that thing. And the idea of something like that has been there for days. And finally, the end of the forecast on the 6th of January. Lower Arkansas with rain and storms. So it looks very active and interesting here over the next 15 days. Now, uh, that'll do it for this uh, Weather Extreme video. Now, next week, I'm on vacation. So Brian Peters will have the videos one a day. We'll be on vacation schedule and holiday schedule next week. Uh, I will be technically back in service on uh, New Year's Eve. That would be Monday, December 31st. So uh, have a great, wonderful, merry, meaningful Christmas. Thanks for watching all these videos. Have a great weekend, and God bless. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas Make the Yuletide gay From now on our troubles will be miles away
happy golden days of yours. Faithful friends who are dear to us, gather near to us once more. Shining 